the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, let's talk about temperatures first before we talk about rain totals coming our way. And today I thought we'd get into the upper 60s for a lot of places and that did happen. But I thought we'd have to wait until Friday before we crack 70. But nature proves me wrong once again. At least I admit it. Aiken, Moose Lake, Superior even. Ashland, 70 degrees for those towns, 69 pretty close in Hayward, 66 waters meet not so bad, 68 towards Ely and Orr, that's pretty good too, and 70 straight up for the folks in Big Fork. Well, I don't think we're going to hold on to 70 much longer. We'll fall towards 60 over the next couple of days, but that in turn is still warmer than normal, and by Friday, we could have a resurgence towards the 70s, and then that may be all she wrote because then we'll start to cool down back towards 60 for the weekend and then fall into the 50s come Monday. Current conditions show it's still 64 at the airport. Relative humidity is 41% with a westerly wind running 22 miles per hour. Current air pressure on the lower side as that low pressure system continues to track by 29.59 inches of mercury here at the moment. Current temperatures at the moment in northern Michigan run from 59 to 62 and we're looking at 59 to 67 here in northwestern Wisconsin. And in Minnesota, we go from about 55 degrees right by the lake near Grand Marais to as warm as 64 degrees by Grand Rapids, and just a hair warmer than that in Aiken and Moose Lake as well. Again, tomorrow's high temps likely will fall more towards 60. It's Friday when we have a chance of cracking 70 once again. Now, taking a look at the Doppler map here, we've got that low pressure system centered up here in Ontario. Earlier today, it brought showers through a portion of Minnesota, including the Twin Ports here in the last hour. Right now, the system is starting to rumble through Wisconsin and Michigan, and the charts indicate the chance for this to pay off is only 20%. Sure looks like that 20% shot paid off here, and in southern parts of Douglas County, it looks like a line of isolated thunderstorms is firing up as well. I don't think any of this is going to become severe here tonight, but until at least midnight or so, it may continue to fire off here and there. Tomorrow, things are going to become clearer, calmer, and just a hair cooler, but still mild as high pressure settles into the region as the low pressure system departs. And then this pattern will become very static. It's going to be like this from Wednesday through Sunday on the sunnier side and also on the drier side. And come Friday, back towards the warmer side when we get that next day of 70 or so. Things will change up once we get into Monday, though, as our next low pressure system finally comes to call, bringing back a chance for some showers, which we do desperately need. So if we get any rain out of the deal tonight, boy, we need it, and that's about all we're going to get for several more days. Tonight in Minnesota, your low temps, they'll go from about 40 inland to 49 by the lake, and a shower chance is out there. And there's a rain chance in Wisconsin and Michigan as well, with low temps in the mid-40s for the most part. Then for tomorrow in Wisconsin and Michigan, the highs run 58 to 62. It's still a little bit warmer than normal. Clear to partly cloudy sky, which folks there will share with Minnesota. And it'll be mid to upper 50s by the lake and about 57 to 62 farther inland. Still a little bit warmer than normal, just not as much as today. There we go. There's the sunshine and the dry weather through Sunday. And there's the really warm weather on Friday with 70 coming back. Then come Monday and Tuesday, just a little bit cloudier, a little bit cooler, and our next chance for the showers.